Elon Musk has said that SpaceX's latest Starship prototype may fly for the first time this week, as the company continues its efforts to get the ambitious spacecraft up and running ahead of planned flights to the Moon and Mars. Starship is SpaceX's proposed spacecraft to transport up to 100 humans at a time, or maybe more, to the Red Planet. The company has been working on prototypes to find the right design that will work for transport. Multiple iterations have come and gone so far, with several explosions along the way. But in a tweet Tuesday 21st of July, Musk said the latest version, SN5, or serial number 5, will attempt to fly later this week. Of course, it won't get anywhere near Mars, or even space. The first flight of SN5 is expected to be a 150-meter, 492-foot, hop. You might recall that an earlier test craft called Starhopper successfully performed such a flight last year. But SN5 is a much larger vehicle that is designed to be capable of an orbital flight. It has been a struggle to get the SN series of prototypes off the ground. So far, SN4 exploded after a static fire test, SN3 crumpled during a pressure test and SN1 suffered a similar fate in February. This, of course, is why you test. SpaceX suffered a similar string of failures before Falcon 9 launches and landings became a routine thing. But before SN5 can hop, crews at the SpaceX development facility in Boca Chica, Texas, need to complete a successful static fire of the prototype's Raptor engine. Live streams of the facility showed the prototype's fuel tank being loaded in preparation for the test firing Thursday morning, but then everything went quiet on the test pad as a small boat was spotted in the exclusion zone forcing an apparent postponement of the test. According to Business Insider, SpaceX received an FAA license for suborbital flights in May this year, meaning Starship prototypes could later fly up to tens of kilometers above the ground before coming back to land safely on landing legs. The final Starship design will launch atop a reusable Super Heavy booster. Together the two vehicles will use 41 of SpaceX's innovative Raptor engines, towering a combined 120 meters above the ground bigger than any rocket in history. Starship, for its part, measures 55 meters tall. Ultimately the company is hoping to launch Starship to space for the first time in the coming year, with an uncrewed mission to Mars in 2022 followed by a first human launch to Mars in 2024. That is an ambitious timeline that has left some skeptical, but crucial to getting near that goal will be getting these full-size prototypes flying as soon as possible. SpaceX is also in a competition with three other ventures, the Blue Origin-led national team and Dynetics, for a NASA contract to conduct a crewed lunar landing in 2024. This contract is the first time NASA has really taken Starship seriously, a major show of support for the spacecraft. Musk, however, has said previously that he believes Starship and Super Heavy could entirely replace the company's existing fleet of Falcon rockets. Getting a full-size prototype flying would be a major step towards that goal.